got this is a an old Betty Crocker recipe, and I'm jazzing it up with vegan cheese. I'm gonna make a lot of biscuits, so I need about a half a cup's worth of fat here. I'm using dairy-free butter. I have this recipe. This is the one I'm talking about that's on jillmckeever.com. So you don't have to write this down. I already did that for you. A couple of these. Get some flour here. Salt. I need some baking powder. I got this memorized. And then I need some garlic. Garlic is really good. I haven't made this with too much garlic yet, so I don't know what the breaking point is because we love garlic. All right, and then I'm just going to cut this. I need a fork. Just cutting this butter right into the, my dry ingredients until it's crummy. I need some wet ingredients. I'm going to need um, just about two thirds cup. of milk look at that oh my lord that's exactly i'm out totally out of milk i had exactly two-thirds cup that is amazing a couple of teaspoons of lemon juice the soured milk buttermilk that is how you make vegan buttermilk the part that makes it cheesy not a sponsor just on sale at the grocery store used a, they had a coupon for bio Life's cheddar shreds this is really good this is the best tasting vegan cheddar cheese on the market i'm gonna measure out a cup's worth dump that in there add the cheese before you add the liquid you don't want to try to incorporate this cheese after your dough is formed you'll make your biscuits tough all right you just want to get the cheese coated that's real nice all right there we go now just make a little well Two-thirds cup of milk will be perfect. Stirring this until a dough forms. It's going to be wet and sticky, and that's okay. That's going to be lovely. There's enough butter in here that I will not need to grease my baking sheet. Lovely, lovely. It smells good, too. All right, I'm using a baking sheet, an ungreased baking sheet to get the job done. And I want these biscuits to be huge. If you want to do like a popper, like something you just pop in your mouth, then I suggest a one inch cookie scoop. This is perfect. I love using scoops to measure out my doughs. I know that I'm evenly dividing my dough as directed. The little one inch scoop is great for cookies. I like using that. And it's also excellent for biscuit bites that you want to pop in your mouth. Tonight, I'm going Texas size. I'm going to use my, two. this is probably about a two and a half inch ice cream scoop with the swivel. Both of these have the swivel and you know uh, action here and this is that's very important for getting this dough out of the scooper. Okay and this is going to make a huge biscuit and when I scoop this out when I scoop this out I am not crushing the dough into the scoop I'm just using it to help lift the dough the, the batter out of the bowl. I'm cutting off the side but I'm not over packing the scoop, okay? Just using it to measure, that's it. These big balls of biscuit dough are gonna take about 20 minutes. If I use the one inch cookie scoop, then it takes about 12 to 15 minutes to get them nice and golden. And then you can just, uh, you know, space them out two inches apart and they'll cook up soft on the sides. Off, off. Oh, yeah, they did me right. You did me right. Why don't you do right? Look at how lovely. Check out my biscuits, baby. You could brush these with a little garlic butter. I tried doing that. And it was good, you know, doing like some garlic and basil or garlic and parmesan or garlic and rosemary. And it's fun to do to brush it with butter. It's really sexy on camera to do that. But by the time you get to the table, you can't really taste it. Well, like we didn't 
we didn't pick up on the garlic butter that I brushed on the biscuits. So I was like, well, I'm just going to spare myself the calories since there's already butter in the biscuits and we've got the vegan cheese happening and there's calories in that, right? Not that I'm on a diet. I am not on a diet. I'm not talking about that. I'm just trying to save space. It's not necessary to brush these with garlic butter. You don't, you don't have to. There's plenty of garlic and the cheese is nice and the biscuits are nice and moist. You don't need to add any more to that. Is that enough? Are y'all getting bored with this? Have a, is this too much biscuit cam? When you go to make these, take them right off the pan. If you take them right off the pan, as soon as they come out of the oven, you won't have any of this. And then if you want to keep these warm, just put them in a container lined with a napkin. Just got a little napkin here. Throw that in there. Yeah, make my old plastic container look fancy. Look at that. Oh, and they're nice and browned on the bottom. Beautiful. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. Nice and cheesy. And full of flavor. A teaspoon of garlic powder is really good. Fresh minced garlic does not come through as well as garlic powder. So um, if you have, if you need to pick up some garlic powder, do it. Trust me on that one. Good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I want to thank you all for being here. If you are not a supporting patron, go to jillmckeever.com because at jillmckeever.com, all the proceeds from that website comes right here, comes through these light bulbs, comes through these groceries. <laughs> so all of this is patron supported. And I appreciate you all for your support, your encouragement, and your years of loyalty. Have a great night, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.